Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. Today is mail call. Got a package arrived from China. It's a great big box. I'll show you that. This is it. Um, we're going to be looking at it together. So, um, yeah, it's just the one box. Uh, there's going to be a few mail call videos coming out over the rest of this month and maybe even early into uh, uh, September because uh, I've ordered a bunch of stuff from uh, AliExpress during their recent sales. So that'll be dribbling in over the next couple of weeks, starting with this big box here today. So uh, let's uh, uh, jump over to the bench and have a look at it together. Here we are on the bench. So uh, it's uh, a great big honking box and it's got a sticker on the top that says serve and model. I don't know what that means. Uh, anyway, this is too big to open on the bench, so uh, let's uh, let's pop over to the um, to the lab cam and let's pop this thing open together. I'm uh, just going to use my uh, pocket knife here. I think they used a whole roll of tape on this thing. I might be able to do better. Um, I've recently reorganized everything and I don't know which drawer things are in. Let's try this thing, it's just a great big honking box cutter. Yeah, that, that's working heaps better. Very good. <sighs> All right. So this big box just says made in China. So I'm not sure what's in here, but we're just about to find out. Ah uh, yes, so this is just one thing. Um, so maybe we'll call this, uh, instead of calling it uh, mail call, we might just call it unboxing. An unboxing video, let me show you. So uh, back over here on the bench, this is uh, branded mechanic. Show the style of master. Yeah, I've got some mechanic gear, so uh, that's good. Um, this is the HT10 uh, Intelligent Digital Control constant temperature heating table and this is the instruction manual for it uh, it's in uh, Chinese so I don't understand it oh no it's in both Chinese and English very good okay so it says that this is the heating station on the top then there's the actual temperature then there's the temperature setting called the preset temperature there's an on off uh, indicator um, and there's a set function and an up key and a down key and then on the back there's power in and a power switch um, the product description uh, this machine is a constant temperature heating equipment suitable, suitable for any need for stable control of heating occasion such as special materials special areas of mold core heating chip welding led lamp bead welding pcb preheating uh, maintenance of electronic circuit boards mobile phone screen removal preheating chemical experiments heating and curing simple operation high efficiency the operation method one insert the power cable into the power port click on off to start heating set to fine tune up and down key okay 
safety warning. Do not touch the heating table and pile up debris to avoid burns or fire. Do not drip liquid into the heating table. High temperature may cause liquid to boil and splash injury. It is not suitable to work in humid, flammable, explosive and high dust environment. Specifications. So this is the HT10. Uh, it's uh, 100 mil by 100 mil in size. Uh, that's millimeters, of course, not um, millions of an inch or milli inches or whatever mils means to Americans. Uh, we've got uh, high temperature uh, is 320 degrees Celsius, and the power is 620 watts. Cool. So let's have a look at it. I'll just uh, I'll throw you back over to the other camera while we. Uh, get the rest of the thing out. So there's a big honking bit of foam, I'll keep that. And this is him, wow. Oh, I got a, um, I got an EU or, I don't know what sort of power cable that is, but it's not Aussie. Three back over here. This is the power cable that arrived. It's, uh, oh, it's damaged too, look at that. That's well damaged. Yeah, I think this one's going straight in the bin actually. I don't like the look of that at all. I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll just chop that off right now, um, and then I'll keep the uh, the rest of it for scrap wire. So I'm looking for my snips. Here we are. Here's some snips. I was going to snip this off. You wouldn't want to do it while it was live. That'd kill you. <laughs> anyway, it's not live, so uh, I'm just going to chuck that bit of stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Might put it in the junk box. And then this is just a leftover bit of wire, then, isn't it? With the um, I think they call it IEC. You know, the old kettle plugs. So uh, I'll file that later on. And then this is the bit of equipment. Now I got it because I didn't have it. Um, and I thought maybe I should have a preheating platform. So now I do. So uh, I think you can use it um, with um, uh, printed circuit boards and surface mount tech. And you can just sort of heat everything in. Um, I don't know how to use this bit of equipment yet. Um, and honestly, I don't have a specific use case for it. I got it because it was on special. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is the, the mechanic heating platform. I suppose we could, uh, we could plug it in. Um, <clears throat> what are we going to do? I might be able to show you, actually. <clears throat> I've got uh, this. Let me show you this. It's uh, um, it's just a uh, it measures the um, the power consumption uh, from a, a wall terminal. This is a wall terminal in the Australian style, uh, and I've got a I've got a power cable up the back here. So if I put that in there and get myself a power cable here, I'll be able to heat up the tray. And we can have a look and see how much power it's drawing. I think it said it was rated for 260 watts, didn't it? So, <clears throat> this is my uh, power cable. Now I'll just snip him off, he's zip tied together. <sighs> so, will you be able to see that? I'm not sure. It's actually a really huge, um, huge bit of equipment. need to reach over and turn this on at the power point. Alright.
now you can't see the front of this thing um, I wonder if we could uh, alright there we go so uh, you're looking at the side of it there um, if I turn it around that way it's not it's not quite stable uh, if I put it like that you can see the front the front panel and this is the uh, the power meter can you see that if I put it there? I think you can and then this power thing we can just run it around this way going to take these off so I can see more clearly all right so that's uh it's up and running oh it's flashing it's flashing for you that's terrible isn't it it doesn't flash for me it's quite it's quite constant for me so that's an artifact of the uh, of the um, of the, the frequency of the power line isn't it so uh, yeah, I might have to just tell you what that says. Um, let's turn that on. All right, so we're on at the front here, and the setting is at 200 degrees, and the actual temperature is at 30 degrees. I'm not sure if that's warming up yet. I think that's just room temperature. Oh no, it's warming up. It's warming up to 200. If I press set, and then I press down. Okay, cool. So let's um, let's set him up to 180, for instance. Set. All right. Well, we do have a thermometer. Should we get our thermometer? Starting to warm up here. I can feel it. Um, you can't see that, but it's drawing 400 watts that's what this is reporting over here and I'm sorry about the flashing that's really quite odd it's not flashing when I look at it so it's drawing less power now 390 heating up it's 80 degrees it's passing can you see that there that's what it says there is 84 on the top and 180 on the bottom and that's still flashing away it's drawing 380 watts uh, through the power lines here at the moment you can feel it's heating up now it's passing 92 degrees Celsius um, which is uh, 100 degrees Celsius, which it's just about to hit, 99, 100. There we go, 100. So 100 is 202 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, boiling point of water. So that's great. That's really warming up there now. Um, what else can I show you? Um, was there anything else to see? Oh, it's interesting. The power drawer is going down as it gets hotter. Oh yeah, what I was thinking we could do is just have a look at the um, at the temperature with our with our new um, fluke uh, meter. I've got a uh, temperature. Um, I've got a temperature sensor. This is it. It's just a bit of wire with. Uh, So I don't know if you can see that, but if we flip it all the way around to temperature, and then we just put this on on there somewhere, uh, it'll be interesting to see um, how the uh, the temperatures compare. So it says 135 on the front, um, and the fluke is still just warming up. 
So it's uh, 140 on the box and 123 on the meter. 142 on the box and 128 on the meter. 146 on the box and 133 on the meter. put some uh, some gloves on while I'm doing this it's starting to get a bit hot just the one glove ought to do it so let's uh, let's hold this back on there again okay so it's going back up it's a, uh, the measurement is 159 on the device and 140 on the meter One sixty three on the device and one forty four on the meter. One sixty six on the device and one fifty two on the meter. You can hear uh, there's a, a relay or something in there that's clipping. Yeah, I can hear it turning itself on and off. One seventy on the device, one fifty six on the meter. 172 on the device, 158 on the meter. 174, which is nearly up to 180. 175 now on the device and 158. Looks like it's uh, 160. It's just hit 160. Yeah. I've scratched the uh, the metal. Right, cools down very quickly when you take it away. So it says that it's up to 180, but the um, the meter doesn't want to go that high. It's topping out around. Well, it's slowly heating up a bit, but about 180 on the device and about 150 on the meter. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Anyway, that's it. That's pretty much everything there is to show you. So uh, let me just turn it off. Off we go, and um, I'll throw you back over to uh, to the bench cam. Oh, that's no good, is it? Throw you back that way. So uh, let me get back in character, and we'll jump over to the farewell cam and wrap this up. And that's a wrap. So this was the uh, unboxing of our Mechanic um, HT10 um, heating plate. So uh, it's just freshly arrived from, uh, from AliExpress in China. Um, we got the opportunity to use our new fluke meter with the temperature gauge to see uh, what its temperature was. It wasn't perfectly accurate. The device said uh, 180 and the meter said 160 at its top uh, weight. I managed to scrap the, scratch the plate on the top here a little bit when I was using the K-Type uh, uh, temperature probe it's just a little bit of um, metal hanging off the end of a, of a wire and I uh, used the metal I scratched the uh, surface so um, it's uh, a little bit of patina there so far um, so uh, yes um, uh, I think that's everything to tell you so this was just the uh, the heating plate um, I don't have a specific use uh, case for it at the moment uh, but I did think it was the sort of thing that might be good to learn how to use and have on hand when you find yourself needing it. So, um, yeah, I've never used one of these before. I don't know how they're used. I don't even completely understand what use cases they support, although there was some talk about that in the manual, if you recall, uh, which we had a look at earlier in the uh, in this video. Um, but uh, that concludes uh, the, the, the unboxing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks very much for watching and please remember to hit like and subscribe.